My Lords, pray be seated. Since the 14th century, the House of Lords has been a fundamental part of our democracy, packed with people from all walks of life, imparting wisdom, scrutinising legislation. Today it swelled a little more as David Cameron appointed new peers, 26 of whom were Tories, some donors, others personal aides. It's absolutely wrong that representing the people making our laws should be a reward for being the Prime Minister's best friend in Parliament for a few years. And at a time when the Chancellor is calling for effectively perpetual austerity for the people, the Prime Minister is saying let the good times roll for an unelected second chamber. Today's 45 new appointments take the total number of peers to 826. More than half of those announced today are Conservatives, including Douglas Hogg, who resigned as an MP after the expenses scandal, and businesswoman Michelle Moan. Labour has eight new peers, including former MP Tessa Jowell, and 11 are Lib Dems, with party grandee Sir Ming Campbell being honoured. But the Lib Dems suffered huge losses at the general election with only eight MPs. Critics claim they're unfairly represented. A dissolution list is designed to reflect the constitution of the House of Commons in the previous Parliament. But as to the future, then we need a comprehensive approach to reform. And any, in any such discussion about reform, everything needs to be on the table. David Cameron has appointed more peers to this chamber than any other Prime Minister. Some Lords themselves are even calling for their numbers to be reduced. But despite being against wholesale reform, the Prime Minister says he is open to limiting terms and setting retirement ages. That, though, he says, is for the Lords to initiate. One constitutional expert says that has to happen soon or the Lords will simply become dysfunctional. People in the House of Lords are very concerned that it's increasingly difficult for it to do its job properly. It's overcrowded, people can't get in to speak, they can't get seats, they can't have office space and library space. So we're very unusual in having a chamber with no upper limit. Only China's National People's Congress is bigger than the House of Lords. If the chamber continues to grow at this rate, it'll reach a thousand members in no time at all.